right now so what is he saying if two dissimilar metals if two dissimilar okay right we'll see this if two dissimilar metals this is one of the metal consider and this is also another metal is consider so if two dissimilar metals are connected two dissimilar metals are connected and these are in contact contact with a high conducting medium right so these are in contact with the high conducting medium okay now now what is saying which one will undergo oxidized okay so see two dissimilar metals are connected with a high conducting medium okay one of the following takes place one of the following will takes place so what the metal with higher reduction potential will be oxidized the metal with lesser oxidation potential will be lesser reduction potential will be reduced the metal with lower reduction potential with will be oxidized right and uh, the metal with higher oxidation potential will be deposited at a cathode right now what did i tell you guys what did i tell you so more oxidation potential more oxidation potential okay more oxidation potential right more oxidation potential one will act as what more oxidation potential one will act as anode right it is anode more oxidation potential will act as anode and uh, like more reduction potential more reduction potential right more reduction potential will, will be acting as what it acts as cathode it acts as cathode okay so the element with higher oxidation potential is anode and the element with higher reduction potential is cathode okay now if you see now if you see the anode is undergoing what undergoing oxidation the anode is, the anode is undergoing oxidation and the cathode is undergoing what the cathode is undergoing reduction okay so what we will be calling now so here see the metal with okay the metal with a lower reduction potential the metal with a lower reduction potential so higher oxidation means what guys higher oxidation means what more oxidation right more oxidation potential is nothing but what less reduction potential right more oxidation potential is nothing but less reduction potential and more reduction means what more reduction potential is what less oxidation potential right or wrong see more oxidation potential means less reduction potential more reduction potential means less oxidation potential right now tell me if a element is having if a element is having more oxidation potential or or less reduction potential if an element is having more oxidation potential or less reduction potential it acts as anode it acts as anode and if a metal is having more reduction potential or less oxidation potential more reduction or less oxidation it acts as cathode more oxidation or less reduction is anode more reduction or less oxidation is cathode now see what is saying the metal with higher reduction potential will oxidize the metal with higher reduction potential will oxidize it since so higher reduction potential or less oxidation potential it is what it is not oxidized it is a cathode that means it is not getting oxidized it is getting reduced more reduction potential will get reduced more oxidation will become oxidized right more reduction potential is reduced more oxidation potential is oxidized right so this is wrong the metal with lesser reduction potential will be reduced again reverse the metal with lesser reduction potential it is what it is oxidized it is anode that means it is undergoing oxidized the metal with lesser reduction potential is having more oxidation more oxidation means it gets it gets uh, oxidized it is having more oxidation potential so this is also wrong right now the metal with lower reduction potential 
the metal with lower reduction potential will be oxidized right correct metal with lower reduction potential means what higher oxidation potential now this is lower reduction potential lower reduction potential will be oxidized it is getting oxidized that means right lower reduction potential right see lesser reduction potential means more oxidation potential more oxidation potential means more oxidation that means it gets oxidized so what is our answer now so this is our correct answer so wrong which is our correct answer now which is our correct answer so metal with uh, metal with uh, lower reduction potential which is equal to higher oxidation potential lrp means low reduction potential hop means higher oxidation potential it gets oxidized correct so this is also wrong okay right so that is a question asked are you clear so in this way he will be asking if you learn in this way now more questions will be covered within a single question okay more questions will be covered within a single question which is a beautiful question okay so this is what he has asked right now what is saying in an electrochemical series the metals are arranged in a series of right in a electrochemical series the metals are arranged in a series on the basis of which series guys we know it is electrochemical series how it is electrochemical series how it is right we know the uh, we know the electrochemical series lithium potassium sodium calcium magnesium zinc aluminium ferrous okay in this way we are having whatever so how these are arranged in the decreasing order of oxidation potential in the decreasing order of oxidation potential or increasing order of reduction so more reduction potential here more oxidation potential here right it is reduced like it is it is in the order of decreasing order of reduction or uh, decreasing order of oxidation or increasing order of reduction these are arranged now what is saying electron affinity no there should be a potential definitely so electronegativity no electropositivity reduction potential right these are increased in the order of what reduction potential if you come here down the reduction potential gets increased that means these are definitely arranged in the increasing order of reduction potential right if you come down now what happens the reduction potential increases what increases reduction potential increases if you come down so these are arranged what electro positivity reduction potential these are increased these are arranged in what in the increasing order of reduction potential and that is what he is saying so electro positivity reduction potential okay so this is what he has asked right thermal conductivity no okay right so in this way he has asked right i hope you are clear with this so take it down we'll go with the next question okay right now so what is saying rust is rust is so clearly i told you very clearly what did i tell you guys if he is asking about iron rust if he is asking about iron rust so rust is what uh, rust is nothing but fe2o3 xh2o didn't i tell this very very clearly i told you rust is that's why i told you it is very very important question guys okay very very important question okay so rust is fe2o3 xh2o right but here what is saying ferrous hydroxide so this is wrong because it is not ferrous oxide hydroxide ferrous of ferric oxide what it is it is feoh taken thrice this is black rust that is not a rust which we are waiting for okay so fe feoh taken thrice is what it is ferrous of ferric oxide but here what is rust fe2o3 xh2o fe2o3 xh2o so see here xh2o stands for what water like hydrate okay it is an hydrate so this is hydrate this is hydrate so
So, Fe2O3 is what? Uh, this is ferric oxide, isn't it? Because 3 is there. So, ferric oxide, right? So, here rust is what now? Rust is what? We are having ferric oxide, we are having ferric oxide which got hydrated XH2O, right? We are having ferric oxide, this ferric oxide got what? It got hydrated. So, ferric hydrated ferric oxide is nothing but Fe2O3 XH2O, right? Fe2O3 XH2O, right? What it is? Hydrated ferric oxide. So, where it is? So, hydrated ferric oxide we have, okay? Is that clear? Yes. So, rust is what now? Tell me, rust is nothing but a hydrated ferric oxide. It is nothing but what? Its formula is what? Its formula is Fe2O3, Fe2O3, XH2O, Fe2O3, XH2O is nothing but the hydrated ferric oxide, hydrated ferric oxide, okay, right? So, that is what? Now, we have what? 18 by 8 stainless steel, 18 by 8 stainless steel contains what? So, tell me guys, what is stainless steel made up of? What is stainless steel made up of? So, stainless steel is made up of, is made up of chromium and nickel. It is made up of chromium and nickel, isn't it? It is made up of chromium and nickel. So, what it contains? What it contains? Told you now very clearly. So, stainless steel it is made up of, of course, carbon is also present that is why it, uh, it is does not come under the metallic alloys. It is an alloy, it is nothing but what? It is an alloy, stainless steel is an alloy. So, 18 by 8 stainless steel contains what? So, it contains chromium and nickel. So, remember this numerator contains the chromium and this divided by 8, okay, divided by 8, it is a nickel, right? So, 18 means above is chromium, na? so see 18 percent chromium and 8 uh, de denominator is what nickel. So, always remember the numerator is, numerator is chromium, denominator is what? Denominator is a nickel. So, 18 by 8 of stainless steel is nothing but 18 percent chromium and 8 percent nickel, 18 percent chromium and 8 percent nickel, okay. So, where it is? So, 18 percent chromium and 8 percent nickel is nothing but the 18 by 8 stainless steel. So, chromium is how much? It is 18 percent. Nickel is how much? It is 8 percent. So, 18 by 8 this gives what? Nickel. Uh, what? It gives stainless steel. It gives stainless steel, okay? Stainless steel. Is that clear? Yes. So, in this way we have, right? So, next, which one of the following statement is correct? So, let us see which one of the following statement is correct, right? So, what is saying here? Aluminium corrodes faster than iron. Aluminium corrodes faster than iron, it seems, right? So, it is not. Rusting of iron is quicker in saline water. Why is the above one not? Why it is not? See the electrochemical series, then you will get clarity, right? So, aluminum corrodes faster than iron. It corrodes, but it is not in air. It corrodes, but it is not applicable in the air. So, rusting of iron is quicker in saline water. Keep it on hold. Corrosion do not occur in steel pipe connected to copper plumbing. Corrosion do not occur in steel pipe connected to copper plumbing, right? So, if you see corrosion will occur in the copper, right? Corrosion will occur in the copper and uh, bolts and nuts uh, must have, bolts and nuts must made up of the different metals are preferred to prevent corrosion, right? So, so what it is saying? Bolts and nuts uh, must made of the different metals are preferred to prevent corrosion. Are we using these bolts and nuts to prevent corrosion? No. So, what is saying? 
rusting of iron is quicker in saline water i told you so the metal gets easily corroded in sea water than the normal water right the metal gets easily the metal gets easily corroded in the sea water right it gets easily corroded in the sea water than compared to the than compared to the normal cell normal water okay so it gets easily corroded in the sea water okay the iron easily gets corroded in the sea water in the sea water the iron gets easily corroded okay so that is a correct point okay which one of the following statement is correct rusting of the iron is easily quicker than okay is quicker in saline water okay so that was a correct answer right so this is wrong aluminum corrodes faster is wrong so corrosion does not occur in steel pipe connected to copper means it is wrong because copper will undergo definitely corrosion so bolts and nuts are not preferred right this he is saying that they are preferred to prevent corrosion so it is also wrong okay so this is what we have right so take it down we'll see the next equations also i hope you are clear with this okay